we're at the Turkey's Turn Conference with Tufts University. Um, I'm Alexander Christie Miller, the Turkey correspondent for the Christian Science Monitor, and I'm speaking to Soli Özal. Um, so, Soli, first of all, um, this question as part of the conference title of Turkey is a perpetual linchpin or an emerging hub. Um, do you think that Turkey is going to fulfill the kind of expectations we've seen in recent years in regards to it taking on this very important economic and political role in its region? Well, I think the reform winds in Turkey, both economically and politically, have actually uh, weakened considerably. I don't see either the conditions or the will being present to undertake in the next wave of reforms that would be a lot more difficult than the original wave, and, uh, but that are absolutely necessary in order to take Turkey from the so-called middle income trap economically and middle democracy trap politically. So in, that, so in that sense, I think the Turkish experiment about which um, many people were very enthusiastic about is not going to be delivering everything that, it was, expect that was expected of it. On the other hand, Turkey will continue to be an important country because of its geopolitical and geoeconomic position. Uh, but the, the more interesting or intriguing question for me now is what will be the relation between Turkey's domestic developments and its uh, strategic orientation and the roles that it will be given to play strategically for the Western alliance? See, and, um Leading on from that, uh, I mean, what do you think, uh, looking at the various regional conflicts and political disputes that, you know, around Turkey, where do you think it can play or is most likely to play a positive role in the coming years? Well, uh, it will have to, first of all, we'll see in a few new developments, that is, it will try to backtrack from the disastrous Syria policy it will probably start normalizing relations with Israel, which obviously are Turkey's most important relations in the current conditions of the Middle East. It may yet um, be party to a brokered peace in Cyprus finally, which will change Turkey's position. And it will serve the Atlantic Alliance as an important security guard, if you will, uh, in view of what had happened in the Ukraine and what is likely to happen in the Middle East in the future as well. Uh, so that's how I see it. No longer I, I, do I think that Turkey will be a central player as it wanted to in the, prior to the, Arab, to, to the Arab revolts. There is a lot of repairing to do, and, uh, but the country is where it is. The country is what it is. So it will continue to play an important part, uh, depending on how the uh, how how things evolve, uh, but it will not be. I don't believe in a position to be as um, enthusiastic or as uh, ambitious as it was, let's say, back in 2010. Okay, and um, uh, Prime Minister Erdogan often talks about how Turkey is going to become one of the world's ten largest economies by 2023. I think. Most highly, think highly unlikely. Not, not all that likely, no. But like, um, uh, do you think, I mean, what are the main impediments on Turkey's growth and economic development? As I said, I mean, it's the, uh, the will for serious structural reform is no longer there. And uh, I doubt that it will come anytime soon, unless there is a breakdown of the Turkish economy as there was back in 2001, then things might change. But that means we will have wasted a lot of time before we reach 2023. This is when the Prime Minister said Turkey was going to become the 10th largest economy. That's brilliant. Okay, thank you thank very you. much.